Well, British forces have been in action in Libya overnight, taking part in a series of NATO airstrikes across the country, with several explosions rocking the capital, Tripoli. The Libyan leader, Colonel Gaddafi, issued a statement insisting he was in a place where he could not be touched. NATO has also been accused of killing 11 imams in a strike on a command and control centre in the eastern city of Brega. Here's Carly Morris. The terrible aftermath of a NATO strike, according to the Libyan government. Inside these coffins, says the government spokesman, the bodies of seven religious leaders, killed when they were gathered on the outskirts of the port city of Brega. Another two were also killed and 45 injured, he says. They were hit in the guest house they were staying at. This is a barbaric crime. You as journalists should realize and see through NATO's lies. For its part, NATO says it regrets any loss of life by civilians when that happens, but asserted in a statement the building struck had been clearly identified as a command and control centre. According to coordinates given by Libyan government officials, this was the location hit a small compound inside the city itself in an area housing foreign oil workers. It's exactly the place identified by a Dutch engineer who built a command and control bunker there for Colonel Gaddafi in the late 80s. The bunker was built actually in amongst, say, say, all kind of civilian houses and guest houses. There was even a guest house built on top of the bunker again after it was completed. It was equipped with uh, communications equipment. So when an attack would have taken place, uh, Gaddafi would still be, say, able to communicate to the people. The MOD today released these images of a Royal Air Force typhoon attacking Libyan army tanks with a thousand pound bomb. And overnight, in and around Tripoli, no fewer than 23 different targets were bombed, an official in Brussels describing NATO forces as definitely pretty busy. Perhaps ringing in NATO's ears the taunt from Colonel Gaddafi that he'll outlast their campaign. In an audio message played on Libyan state television on Friday evening, the Colonel said, I tell the coward crusaders, I live in a place that you cannot reach. I live in the hearts of millions. That message of defiance follows suggestions from Italy's foreign minister that the Bishop of Tripoli had told him Gaddafi was injured in a missile strike and fled the capital this week. He talks with Gaddafi's regime and the day before yesterday said, in my opinion, he has fled Tripoli and might be injured as well. The Libyan leader, though, giving a good impression he's still in charge.